Hello everybody, this is Trina. I am getting started on the card pop portion of the Oh My Heart collection. So I have done, as of this video, before this video, I've done this page and this page, and neither one ended up like I had expected. So I decided not to do a double page layout. I made them into one single or two single page layouts, um, mostly because I got inspired to use this photo um, of me and my husband. And then this was the second one, and I thought that was adorable, so <sighs> I'm happy with them, even though they weren't a, you know, a two-page layout like this. This is pretty, but I love those two. <laughs> Just, I don't know, it felt like I needed more stamping. I don't know. As soon as I figured it, it, the first one totally mixed up the whole process, and then I was just like, well, that kind of doesn't have, you know, when you put that by itself, it doesn't really have a title, which you could have put a title. I could have put a title down here. I don't know. I just didn't want to. I <laughs> just figured, you know what? I have all these extras, all these things, and I, let's just play. So I played. And so I haven't done this one yet, but I'm playing on it. Um, wow, that ring light really, really kills the, the whole thing, huh? So this... It's really great for projects, not so much for sharing screens. Let's see if I can get this to go all the way up. As far as brightness, so that's the layout. You can kind of see it, the two-page layout. Um, if you're interested in it, you'd, I will leave the link in the description box below. Um, this is the one that I haven't. Oh, this is the one I haven't done yet down here. I have the kit ready for that, but I wanted to do some cards in between and not just do like all scrapbooking pages or, you know, all cards at once. So I'm going to get started on some of these cards and um, I'm going to leave that up there for reference just in case I need help with any of them. I really shouldn't, but my printer did not print out right. So, um, so like this key right here is supposed to be yellow. The top up here is supposed to be yellow. So it's just like... I don't know, it's not exactly how it's supposed to be. So on my on my instructions, only because my printer is not close to my heart, it's just my printer. My printer's on its way out, it's dying. Um, and yes, I checked, it has yellow ink, and the, the I've cleaned the um, thingies, the printer heads multiple times. I've done, done several multiple deep cleanings, and it's just, not working which is sad because I love this printer I like it was one of my, it's actually one of my all-time favorite printers but of course it's the newest one that I have which is really old so. <laughs> um, anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on these I have these all in a um, in little baggies just makes it easier for me to know that every one of them are already separate and has what they need let's hope that's like uh, absolutely true. I'm hoping they have all have what they need. Um, these are the card bases. I went ahead and cut and, um, and scored them and then um, I'll just pull from here. So I have them labeled from one which this is project three but uh, this is going to be my first card in the you know in the cards so this will be number one and then I will probably do these four with you guys just because it doesn't it shouldn't take very long to do these unless I make them more difficult than they already are which I totally do of course because mm, that's just my style <laughs> at first I don't really you know change much around. I keep them mostly the same, trying to make them, make sure that it's, you know, fairly easy for me to put together. And then eventually I start adding more things or changing things up, or if I want to, you know, distress something, then I distress something. So this is the stamp set that goes with the kit. It is the Oh My Heart stamp set. And... I would have to say there are a lot of great words on here. Um, let me see if I can look at it real quick. We've got hugs, love, kisses, cute, sweet, um, and sweet in two different sizes. So you've got a tiny one and you've got a larger one. We've got two from heart, so lovely, XO, um, and then a huge XO, and then a medium X with hearts. And we've got my, you, I, love, our, best, 
and then we've got I love you, this, and much. And so that is actually a lot of words for one stamp set. But I'll tell you what, I have used almost all of them just in this, um, uh, in this workshop. So that's kind of exciting because, you know, it actually means that I'm actually getting things done. So, and actually getting to use my stamp sets, stamps. So this little guy was a little more difficult to pull out than I thought it would be. Um, I actually only had to speed these videos up twice the, the um, speed. So they are, let's see, each one took about, I want to say about 45 minutes to do. So um, I clipped out a little bit because I was uh, either watching... YouTube or whatever and so it just you know I have a little couple had a couple little dead spots so I just clipped those out and then um, where I'm reaching up for the screen some of those I get but still get in there but I really didn't need to speed this up very fast so I was excited about that especially to keep it reasonable and still get several cards done so that is one of the things about this um, workshop is that it's you get a lot done in a short amount of time so and that's mostly because all the work is done for you all the designing is done for you and obviously you can change it up I always like to change things up so that does usually take my make mine take longer just because I'm taking a little bit of the designing back and um, that just adds time on there of course so uh, yeah so in the instructions it says to um, assemble and then stamp and I I like my when I stamp I like my stamping to be on a flat surface and only one layer so I usually you know I'll put whatever needs to be on the base on the card base on the card base and then do my stamping um, on the single layer and then add that to my base that's already prepared so and I would have to say, using this uh, stamp positioner is so nice. It is so nice. Um, I don't believe that I use it for every card or every stamp. For that matter, I have my stamp blocks on every, on like my, all my stamp blocks are all filled up right now with these stamps. So I definitely use those as well. But for like the words that need to go in a specific spot on the final, you know, sheet, it, I definitely want to um, use the stamp positioner if possible. I think I get a little bit brave in like the third card video, but um, of course they don't turn out quite as nice because you can't stamp, you know, them twice in the same place. So you can, but it's just a little bit more difficult than if you have a stamp positioner tool. So. So yeah, this is showing the like tape kind of piece there. Um, I'm not exactly sure which block it's on now, but yeah, it goes across there. And I did not get, I did that by hand and I did not get it straight. Like it just kept going down on the right and I was just like, I'm not sure exactly why my hand is doing that, but it is. So I decided, you know, I'm going to stamp this. And of course that's water-based ink, so I really should have done my uh, Intense Black first, but I didn't. But it didn't mess up, as long as it was dry, it was fine. It's just when you put any type of ink on top of an, a wet ink, it's just kind of kind of going to spread instead of stay put. Um, so if you do your, um, uh, what is that, I want to say alcohol-based ink, I don't know if it is or not, but it sure acts, it behaves like it is. If you put that down first and let that dry and then put your, you know, water-based ink over the top, it usually does not smear. So, um, yeah. And this is how fast this card is going. Like, there, I mean, 3 by 4 cards are amazing. I haven't ever really made a 3 by 4 card. I've made little, smaller little tag you know, cards for like, 
um, I want to say invitations or um, presents, but these went together really fast. Here is card number two. Now, this one, I think I actually accidentally, like, tri missed the last half of the card because my camera stopped rolling and I didn't notice. <sighs> such is life, such is life. I love that heart pattern on the back. So there's really not a whole lot to say. Um, you can see the layout over there on the right hand side there that I pointed to and so this is kind of you know it's it's pretty simple so this stamp set has a like a stitched border and then it has a heart a little mini micro mini heart border and honestly with these cards you could have you know you could do any either one of the borders on the top and bottom you don't have to do just the stitching you can switch it out or you can add another layer you could do whatever you want um, so on these I had to kind of figure out whether it would like there was red included because some of these were just pink and white cards and some of these were like or like raspberry and um, was that, raspberry and pixie cards and then the other ones, some of the other ones are like the raspberry and red and pixie cards. And then some of them are just red and black and white cards. And so when my printer didn't print it out right, they didn't really print it out right at all. So I, did, I had to kind of double check on my phone still um, to see which ones were which. and now it's just time to assemble it. Now, I usually use like um I usually use bling. I love bling. I love me some bling. I usually use bling, but um this workshop has been calling for the silver sticker stickles. And I'll tell you what, I am surprised. I actually really like how it just adds some sparkle without See, that is what the card looks like when I, um, on the printed instructions. And this one says just a couple of, you know, spots here and there. And I can't remember if I actually just do the couple of spots or if I add more. Um, but there we go. Yeah, I added one more. <clears throat> And this one is card number three, which is project number five, five, I think, three, four, five, yes, five. This one, I, I couldn't find it on the image that Close to My Heart gave me, so I was like, well, I guess I'm just going to guess and, you know, just do what I can I guess because <laughs> I couldn't find it and so I couldn't really reference to see what colors were what and so I just kind of went for it and of course my uh, my liquid glass bottle now when this bottle is full and I'm using it regularly it does not have any problems now when I go a few days in between using them especially when it's almost empty it is a pain like it is really a pain even even with you know without the fine tip uh, it's still a pain so well what are you gonna do I, I I'm not willing to give up my liquid glass glue it's just not an option I love it it is my all-time favorite wet glue and that is kinda saying something because I don't like wet glue <laughs> I'm not patient enough for wet glue. I like hot glue, and I like dry adhesive, but I do not like like tape adhesive because it's dry. So so I kind of figured out that 
I was uh, running out of ink in my intense black ink because I've used it a lot and um, so somewhere in the middle of this video not this video but this uh, workshop I order another reinker and so then now I have a lot of ink in there so I kinda have to stamp, stamp it off a little bit and then you know do my stamping because it gets to it's a little bit too juicy so yeah I, I'm pretty sure you guys know how that works but I'm just glad that I can rejuice it right and this was not part of the instructions, but I did it anyways, because, you know, I got to do stuff like that. And I think there's a little word under, or a few words, yeah, there's a couple of words under there. Under, I believe it says hugs. And that's when it cut off. <laughs> I will show you. I will show you the card at the end of the uh, thing, as, as the end of the video too. And I do slow it down a bit, um, just so you can see it at regular time, so that you can actually see them without them flying by. Um, but yeah, this one came out pretty easy as well. I don't remember. I don't remember. at first when I first uh, stamped it the front though the. <laughs> I had the giant X instead of the medium X or the little X, whichever way you call it. I think it would be the medium X. And I stamped it right in the center and I was like, wait a minute, that's there's no way that's gonna fit. There's no way that's gonna fit. So Yeah, then I was able to just flip it over, which is awesome because <laughs> because then I was like, okay, I have another side. I don't have to cut a whole other piece. Yay me! And now I'm trying to figure out which size heart and what color. And I decide raspberry to go with the raspberry pattern paper there. And I do that on each side. And as you can see, they're not perfect stampings, but um, I don't know. I think they're fine. I think they'll do the job. And now we're going for hearts, I believe, heart borders. One at the top, one at the bottom in the raspberry ink. and then just add some adhesive and put it on there. Now these are cards that you could definitely expand to larger sizes so you could do the same idea with a larger size card if you want and you could add different uh, papers, you can mix and match stamp sets, you can do the basic layout the same um, but change it up a little bit you know um, with what you have at home which is kind of awesome. So this is the card, these are the cards that I worked on and this is kind of a reveal as to how they turned out after I was done with them. And as you can see, I mean the stickles are still wet, but I wanted to show you guys, you know, what they look like compared to, um, you know, what's, what the original card looked like. And of course, none of them like to stay down but I did, yes I did, I was a, <laughs> a bling fanatic and just added some more sparkles. I can't help it, I can't help it. It just looked like sweet was just sitting up there all by itself and it like needed something. So it got some bling. So there we go. Whoa, that was close. But there you are. See, it looks way much, way better with those, with that there. See, there we go. And there they are. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. See you later. Bye.